In his farewell address, President Obama told Americans that if they were fed up, they should go out and run for office. If you're disappointed by your elected officials, grab a clipboard, get some signatures, and run for office yourself. And in the Trump era, thousands of Democrats have heeded his call, running for office in elections across the country. Meanwhile, in the race for Congress, the DCCC, or the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, has moved aggressively to crush competitive primaries. DCCC officials and senior Democrats are hand-picking moderate, business-friendly candidates and are attempting to push progressives out of key races. In Colorado's 6th District, one of the most competitive seats in the country, the DCCC moved in early to select Jason Crow, a corporate lawyer, as the party candidate, pushing resources, endorsements, and money to Crow while elbowing out progressive Democratic competitors. The Democratic Party often denies that they play favorites. What follows is a meeting between Congressman Steny Hoyer, the number two Democrat in the House, and Levi Tilleman, a progressive running for the nomination for the Colorado seat. Levi, obviously I want to talk to you about this congressional race. Absolutely, that's what I expected. You would like me to get out of the race. You keep saying I would like you to get out. And of course that's, that's correct. Yeah. I know you're fundraising for Crow. Yeah, you know. I'm for Crow. I am for Crow because a judgment was made very early on. And it just made the decision made. So your position is a decision was made, you know, very early on before voters had a say. That's fine because that's the DCCC knows better than the voters of the 6th Congressional District and we should line up behind that candidate. That's certainly the consequence of our decision. There are two things I'd like you to consider. One may be easier than that. The first would be uh, if you stay in the race. Mm -hmm. Frankly, I would hope you would not. I'll get to that. But if you stay in the race, it is not useful to the objective to tear down the mm -hmm. Pro is clearly the favorite. That doesn't mean you win, it just means it's the favorite. I hear you. That doesn't mean it's right, it just means no. no, I hear you. Right. I don't know Pro well, but I think he's a decent human being. So before we, before we go any further on that, Pro is the favorite, N in no small part, Congressman Hoyer, because the DCCC not only put its finger on the scale, but started jumping on the scale very early on. And I'm born and raised a Democrat. I mean, it's undemocratic to have a small elite select someone and then try to rig the primary against the other people running. And that is, that is basically what's been happening. I hear you, and I disagree. But you were part of that process Absolutely. as well. You said absolutely. absolutely. Yes, yeah. I've been at this a long time. Yeah. Uh, when I said you need to get in strong, hard, and early, you just do it. You know, obviously, that's your choice. And you guys are shoveling money at him. I'm going to continue. You're going to continue to do it? We are going to continue to do it. And the reason we're going to do it is because a decision was made to focus. It was clear that was our policy and our hope that we could early on try to come to agreement on a candidate that we thought could win the judgment mm -hmm. and to give that candidate all the help we could give them so that we would have a unified effort going into a general election. Which, which means effectively, Congressman Hoyer, I'm running a campaign against Crow and against you and against the DCCC because you guys are on Crow's side. Yeah. You know, frankly, that happens in life all the time. 